Hello, today's video is a guide on fighting Solarin the Twisted. Solarin is a demi-boss with 70 combat who commonly drops sinister keys which open a chest that gives you lots of herbs. So fighting this guy is actually a decent herb lore training method for Iron Man if you don't want to grind out herbs from farming just yet. Sinister keys can also be found from Magpie Implings and the Chaos Fanatic, but Solarin drops them at a rate of 1 out of 12.8. Sinister Chest is located in the Yanil Agility Dungeon. Accessing it requires 49 agility, and I'd recommend it anti-poison because opening the chest poisons you. And I recommend food if the skeletons aggro you. The chest always gives you the same amount of herbs, including 3 Ranars and a Torstal. In total, one loot of this chest gives 1100 herb lore XP, assuming you clean all the herbs and make them into the highest level potions you can. Solaris and also gives some herbs as regular drops. Accessing Solarin the Twisted requires 67 agility but can be boosted with a Summer Pie at 62. Your stats don't matter a ton because he's only damaged with strike spells, but having higher defense or 43 prayer certainly helps if you're not safe spotting, and higher magic level does increase your accuracy so you hit more frequently. Magic accuracy gear is good here, but magic damage bonus doesn't increase your damage according to the wiki, it seems this is something specific to Solarin. You'll at least want a Fire Staff and Air and Mind runes. This is absolutely doable if this is the best magic gear you have available. You could alternatively use an Air Staff and a Tome of Fire, but this will use charges in your tome. He takes 30 seconds to respawn, so you could bring a gear switch to kill Chaos Druids or to splash and get extra magic XP on the nearby monsters while you're waiting. You could also just hop between two worlds and keep killing him. If you're a lower level, you might want to bring some food, but if you have decent defense, you probably won't need any. Though I highly recommend having at least 27 combat so you don't get aggroed by the chaos druids in the room. It's single way combat, so if a druid is attacking you, it'll be difficult to start attacking Solarin. And you also need a slash weapon to cut the webs near the entrance. Here is how to get to Solarin the Twisted. One of the entrances is just north of Yanil. Flash the web and go downstairs. Climb across this ledge. Follow the path south to the monkey bars. Then to get to the room Solarin is in, you climb down these stairs and up these rocks that require 67 agility. If you have 82 thieving, you can enter through this house in Yanil. For this, you need a lockpick and have to keep clicking on the door until you open it. It's a bit faster and closer to a bank if you have the level for it. If you prefer to safe spot, the safe spot is this tile just south of the skull torch on the wall. This is just out of his attack range, so he'll run away instead of being able to attack you. Most of the time he'll get stuck on the grave and you won't have to move, but sometimes he'll get out of this spot and you'll have to run in to aggro him again and might take some damage. According to the wiki, the kills average 48 seconds, so you're estimated to get 6 sinister keys per hour. The interesting thing is that with Solarin, you are guaranteed to hit a certain number based on which elemental strike spell you use. The only thing that could affect your kills per hour is your magic magic accuracy, which is determined by your magic level and gear, but he does have a very low magic defense. Assuming you get around 6 sinister keys per hour, that's 6700 herb lore XP, and you'll gain over 10k magic XP. And if you're a main account, this is about 200k GP per hour as a money maker. That's all for this guide, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!